everybody, Brigham Harris here. Let's get a good look at the weather because things are going to be changing. We've had a lot of dry weather over the past couple of weeks, but uh, unfortunately we are going to be seeing some rain. Well, it's unfortunate, but it's also a very good thing to be clearing out some of the smoke that is in our area over the past couple of days. So it's kind of a win-win. Uh, it's kind of a lose-lose depending on uh, how you look at it, right? Most of the rain, though, is going to be accumulating uh, west of the Cascades, and I'm talking along the coastal area. We can see in the next 48 hours. It'll show us right up until uh, Monday, 6 p.m. A good amount of that rain is going to be amassing in Brookings as well as Crescent City. Elsewhere, though, still going to be a good amount of rain throughout the entire area. We can see a good amount there along the, uh, the Siskiyou and the Cascade Ridge, and a little bit there in the Rogue Valley as well. So most of it is going to be along the coast. If we're talking snowfall, then most of it's going to be in the higher elevations. When I say higher elevations, I'm talking between 3,500 and 4,500 feet. And if you're wondering where you are on that list, well, the most important one really is Klamath Falls right at 4,000 feet of elevation and uh, Mount Shasta right around 35, 3,600 feet of elevation. Medford will not, uh, should not expect any snow on the ground per se because we're not even close to that uh, snow level. But th just to let you know, there will be some snow in the area. So Lake of the Woods, Crater Lake, Mount Ashland, uh, Mount Shasta will be expecting uh, maybe an inch or two depending on where you are. And as we move forward in the next few hours up until again around 6 30 in the afternoon on monday quite a bit will be amassing there at those higher elevations especially east of the cascades and below the uh, oregon california border there now like i said it's not going to be too much to where here in the valleys we're going to be driving with snow on the ground but it is enough to awake a little bit of those winter weather advisories so watches and warnings this is what we have to be careful of with there's blowing snow uh blowing rain some colder temperatures do be careful when out on the roads this is only expected to last until sunday uh in the afternoon so the work week as of this moment is not affected by these watches and warnings but it is still in effect from now until then so do be careful uh, when you're out traveling uh, now let's talk a little bit about today and tonight for the coast there is that chance for some thunderstorms and a little bit of lightning now again not too much to where there's any uh, advisory levels for that uh, but we do want to make sure that you are alerted and aware along the coast these are our temperatures going to get pretty nice there uh, in Brookings 42 to 49 uh, degrees so not a whole lot of flux fluctuation there between the coldest and the warmest point of tonight and tomorrow. As for the West Valleys, sort of the same thing, maybe a little bit warmer, um, not quite as warm as we have been seeing. So like I say, it's going to get a lot colder than what we're used to, especially the past couple of weeks. We've been seeing 70s to 80s, and now we're going to be seeing 40s and 50s, at least for the next couple of days. Same thing for the east of the Cascades. Man, look at that. 28 degrees in Christmas Valley and Chimult, below freezing for close to everywhere else. You can see Paisley, Klamath Falls, and Alturas will be right next to that freezing mark, and uh, Crater Lake won't even get above freezing uh, tomorrow. So it's going to be a very cold next 24 hours for them. 7 day forecast for the Rogue Valley does show that there is light at the end of the tunnel, no pun intended. You can see 53 degrees is our high tomorrow, the coldest that we've seen in a little while. But take a look at Thursday, partly cloudy, low of 46 and a high of 82. Do not worry, we're going to get back to that spring summer mixture that we've been kind of getting used to and hopefully not taking for granted because uh, it is going to go away for just a couple of days and that's across the board. You can see Klamath Basin will get pretty cold below 50 degrees and then it'll spike back up to 77 on Thursday with a good amount of sunshine. That trend will continue for pretty much the entire area. You can see 81 degrees on Thursday, but not before we hit 49 degrees tomorrow for Northern California. And as for the coast, not quite as much of a dive in temperatures. We'll still see uh, low 50s in the next couple of days, but that's going to come right back up to the mid 60s. Overall going to be a great week. Good amounts of rain to clear out those hazy uh, uh, cloudy and uh, smoky skies, but there will still be a good amount of sunshine throughout the week.